Now the area of St. Petersburg and Tampa were north of that vicious eye wall, avoiding the worst of flooding, but it was battered with the damage of severe winds. As people in Tampa work to recover from Wednesday's landfall in some areas, the power is still out and gas reserves are running low. All of this is happening while crews are trying to clean debris off the streets. CBS News Miami Steve Majuri is joining us live from downtown St. Petersburg and it looks like people are still getting gas at this hour. Steve. That's right, Chelsea. We had heard that this state run gas distribution center was supposed to close a few hours earlier, but it seems like if you take a look out here behind me that the cops and the state officials here are going to let people that have been waiting in line apparently for hours to get their gas and not leave here empty handed. A lot of people have pretty much spent their whole day waiting in line. It's just been hours and hours. People have been standing in line to just fill up their gas cans, but it's people in their cars that have been using gas while staying here for gas that really, really need to fill up their cars because it's been a couple days here and something that we've noticed is that a lot of the just necessary stuff that you need to get through your day in order to get that you usually have to wait in line. A free state run gas distribution station along 2nd Avenue is a lifeline for St. Petersburg drivers, but Paul Stanley Curry Jr. learned you'll have to be patient whether you're filling up your car or a can. I've been here an hour and a half, two hours. I think they did like maybe five, ten people. The cars are getting priority? Definitely. Martin Fouts prefers standing in line instead of waiting in his car in line. He's seen people run out of gas while waiting for it. I did push a lady out of line in Wawa because she was sitting waiting for gas and ran out of gas. People were honking and this other guy and I pushed her into a parking space. And the few gas stations that had any supply needed police to coordinate the long lines. Winifrey Williams was running on her last few gallons. My dad siphoned from his truck because it's broke so that I could have gas. <laughs> How much longer do you think you could have lasted without gas? Mm -mm, not much longer. On top of the gas shortages, power is still down in much of the Tampa area. Flood water is still stuck in the streets and traffic lights are out. Joshua Bowman is only comfortable riding his bike through the water. Part of his neighborhood is still submerged. Is this the only way to get around? Yes, sir. It's a bike or a canoe if you got one. Got like all. And St. Petersburg remains under a boil water notice. About 30 water lines were damaged from some downed trees that came down. And coming up at 11, you'll hear how the debris is being cleaned up because, like so many other cities in Florida, many officials were still cleaning up from Helene. And now they have to clean up with Milton on top of that. Live in St. Petersburg, Steve Majiri, CBS News, Miami. Well, Steve, the good news is you started your day talking about power outages at gas stations. And look, now the state has found a solution, at least for the time being. Thank you for your report.